Welcome back to Don's Life. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining today. Hey, if you're not a subscriber and you feel like it, please consider subscribing. Your support would be appreciated. Anyway, behind me is my 2021 GMC Sierra AT4. I've got a white and a black theme going on. I really dig it. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I'm the one who has to like it, right? Maybe some of you guys do, and that's cool too. Uh, the roof right now is white, but my tonneau cover is black, and everything else is that black and white I was talking about. So the roof wrap I've chosen is over here. It's a new vinyl film by Vivid. It's called Black Stealth Camouflage in a large print. I think that'll look pretty good up there. So you get to watch me do that. So let's go. Any project, probably the most important step is prep. So I've already washed the roof, very good. I washed the whole truck, but I paid special attention to the roof. You wanna make sure that it's contaminant free to get the best result for your vinyl to stick. So you can see this is what I'm working with up here. I'm going to make sure the sunroof is open. That way I can stand inside of it to get to some of these areas. What's gonna be the trickiest isn't actually wrapping the roof itself. It's going to be the shark fin up here and it's going to be this valence on the back here. You may have noticed I took off the tint on that third brake light. It's because I want to go darker and I want to cut it out for the backup lights or the cargo lights, I should say. Now, it's not going to be too hard wrapping, like I said, but first let's do measurements. And I need to do a small cutout ahead of time in the vinyl film so the shark fin will fit through it. To uninstall this shark fin, I'm pretty sure I have to loosen off the headliner undo a bolt underneath, pop it out. I really don't want to do that, so I'm going to cut out around it and then lay the vinyl in, and then wrap this last. So let's measure the width between these uh, grip rails here. Okay, we got about four feet and three or four inches. So I'm just gonna keep it the whole width of the roll, which is five feet. That will give me enough extra to use on each side. The approximate length of the roof would be about seven feet. Well, it's actually only, the length of the roof is six feet. I wanna make sure that the piece that I cut does have enough extra material, because if I mess up with the cutout here, I still wanna have a second chance to slide it all up, make a new cutout, and have enough extra on the back end that I'm not wasting two giant sheets. So let's go do some cutting. Okay, like I said, these are five feet across already, these rolls, and I want about eight feet, even though I only need six. That gives me a little bit of forgiveness in case I do mess up with that shark fin. So we're gonna cut it at eight feet. Okay, I made a template so I knew where the shark fin is gonna be. The shark fin is actually a little bit bigger than this, but I'm gonna pre-cut a hole so that'll help me get the orientation correct. Now the vinyl is gonna go on this way. So my template goes like this. So we're gonna have to trace our hole on this side. So square this up. And then we're just going to cut out within this line here. Somebody shops at Costco. So we just gotta cut that out. gonna roll this up get up there and do a test fit okay there's this flap that helps uh, divert air when the sunroof's open we've got to make this stay down so I'm just gonna wedge my squeegee in there that should work so there's our cutout but I've left enough material that I can cut it down after I uh, heat up the wrap and lay it in now I'm just gonna anchor down some of the sides a couple spots because I want to make sure that it's you know, the right orientation, because I need to work through the sunroof. So I'm gonna cut a smaller sized hole there, just big enough that I can stand up through. That way I can work in this area first, around the sunroof, probably halfway down the back of the roof here, and then I can stand in the box and do the rest. But I don't want this to shift in the wrong position when I'm cutting open through the sunroof. So that's why I'm just taking this stuff down. 
making sure everything fits. Okay, as you can see, the vinyl's covering the open sunroof. The roof is right to the back edge there. I wanna make sure I'm at least a couple inches in all the way around so I have a little bit of forgiveness with the material that I need to wrap down. So we're just gonna start drawing a line approximately two inches in. Okay, let the cutting begin. Doesn't have to be perfect. This is this line is just a guide. Ta -da. Okay, since we want the vinyl just to stick to this middle area here, in case I have to like do any shifting, we're just going to frame the part that we're wrapping and uh, put some tape around it. Now we'll use some isopropyl alcohol, clean all our area. I'll probably put a little bit of tape just around the edge of that shark fin. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Don, make sure you clean in here or why don't you just pop these drip rails out? Um, I could, I just don't wanna break any clips and there's enough space in there that I'm confident that I can tuck the film in, but to make sure it sticks, you do wanna make sure that you clean in behind the weather stripping on all of these type of areas. I've already done the windshield. There's a rubber flap there that you can lift up and clean behind. So that's done. See, look at the grime that comes out of there. And we're gonna do that for both sides a couple times. Okay, I'm gonna start in this corner. I'm going to peel back the backing at an angle like that. I'm going to work on this area, and then I can start working all the vinyl on the way back. Okay, I've got it all inlaid around the sunroof, so that's ready to close. You wanna make sure you don't have any wrinkles, that way the rubber seal from the sunroof uh, makes it nice and tight. Here's a very important part. So this rubber piece, this weather stripping along the windshield, you need to make sure your film is tucked in there. So I did that, but it was very hard to record and do this at the same time. But if you have a tool like this, it'll help press the film down while pulling back the rubber. All right, got the roof done. We didn't get to the shark fin or the valence. I spent enough time just doing the roof. So we're gonna leave it like that for right now. But let's pull it out into the sunlight and get a couple different angles so you can see it a little better.
there we go. We got that project done. Later on, I might do that shark fin, like I said, or I might leave it and I might come back and do the valence, but that'll have to be a future video. If you liked today's video, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing and we'll talk to you next time.